Hello and welcome. Today we are going to look at a new paper, past paper, chemistry paper 2, year of 2020. Question 1. State what would be observed if a bar magnet is brought close to a mixture of iron and sulfur. So if you have a mixture where you have your iron together with your sulfur, iron is a metallic substance which can be attracted by a bar magnet because it can easily be somehow polarized and becomes magnetic however when you look at sulfur it's non-magnetic and will not be affected so we are likely to observe the following iron is attracted by the magnet and no effect on sulfur or basically we can say the gray solid is attracted by the magnet and the yellow powder is not affected by the bar magnet roman 2 iron 2 sulfide what happens if we bring the same bar magnet to iron to sulfide? When we heat a mixture of iron and sulfur to form iron to sulfide, we shall see that this iron to sulfide is actually a black solid and it's a compound. That means we shall not actually be able to separate this iron from the sulfur because it's no longer a mixture. So if we bring our bar magnet, we are likely to see no observable change this could be our best answer then we have part b or we can say no effect what is the practical application of the action in a roman one above the simplest i could give is that we can use it to separate mixtures that is to say separation of mixtures but please you can let me know in the comment section what do you think are the practical applications of this kind of separation basically separation separating mixtures you can let me know in the comments which other practical application because for my answer it's a bit broad and open it is not specific you can choose a specific answer and also note it down part c state a suitable method by which the following substance can be obtained sugar from its mixture with sand we all know sand has probably soil and we know it can't be it can't dissolve in water however sugar will not can dissolve in in water so the question is how can you separate a, a soluble salt from an insoluble sorry a soluble solid from an insoluble solid so here the best answer is filtration filtration usually works when you have one solid that cannot dissolve in a solvent while the other can and in this case if you mix if you have a mixture of sand and sugar all you have to do is pour some water into the two steer and until all the sugar will dissolve and then you can filter out so that means your sugar solution will become your filtrate and your sand will be your residue and then at last you can evaporate to dryness if at all you want to obtain your sugar back however simply put filtration can do the job then lastly how can we separate or how, how can we obtain sodium chloride from its mixture with sodium hydrogen carbonate we all know sodium chloride is our table salt while our sodium hydrogen carbonate is a slightly soluble salt or we can say it's slightly insoluble so this one is not as salt soluble compared to our sodium chloride so how can we separate two different salts a mixture of two different soluble salts so in this case we are going to use what we call fractional crystallization this is a method in which we normally separate two soluble salts that have been dissolved in the same solvent at the same temperature however the two salts have different solubilities for example we have said our sodium chloride is more soluble than sodium hydrogen carbonate so try and find out what we mean by fractional crystallization we somehow crystallize one salt at a time we crystallize one salt at a time let us say we have a saturated solution of our sodium chloride and sodium hydrogen carbonate so usually we shall try to warm it so that all the salt can dissolve so all we do is we cool this solution 
and at that point when we start cooling maybe to lower temperatures the less soluble salt will start to crystallize out more compared to the most more soluble salt so in this case we shall start seeing some sodium hydrogen carbonate being formed in our solution then we filter off so that we obtain the solid sodium hydrogen carbonate and then we carry out the process further for the filtrate that was left behind that's all i had for you let us continue with this series until probably we finish the 2020 paper thanks for watching stay safe